What's up, guys? So, Krolin produced a producer's letter uh, going over the history of ArcheAge in the last year or so, giving a look at what's coming, security changes, server status updates, and some new information about 2.9 and future events. There's a lot of text here. You can find the link down below to go ahead and read all this stuff. The only things that are really important to note, in my opinion here, are character name changes are coming. In early May, we will begin offering a name change service. So this will be a huge thing. I mean, you can change your name now. So if you had a horrible, bad reputation, you can now just wipe it away with a character name change. These will probably cost credits, just like the uh, server transfers. So expect a spike in Apex prices based on this if they do cost credits. There were people before that were able to change their names by doing server transfers and then server transferring back to the uh, the server that they originated from. But that cost you know a good amount of credits and then two months of real time. Now you're going to be able to do this right away. So that is a pretty big change. And then here comes 2.9 information, the big dragon is coming to a coming to a castle near you soon so supposedly there's only one of those dragons per server and that is per the guild that runs the best castle in Aurora. they didn't really give us that much information they did say that the nation system is coming with this update so we are not being hold, held back anymore from the nation system the, if it's anything like the Korean nation system, it's extremely costly and hard to do. You have to have a castle to build a nation. You can then make uh, friendly alliances with Harani and Nuya. And it even says pirates here, which is very interesting. I didn't think that you could actually friend pirates. But it says that here, so that could be either a mistranslation or maybe that you actually can. Skill balance again, of course, there's a lot of skill changes coming with 2.9. Obsidian Tier 7 is coming, which we already knew about. They're also making Tier 5 and Tier 6 easier to craft, which I've heard that the um, Wisps required is going uh, down. Not too much, around 10 to 15% or so. We'll find out more as it hits the public test server in a couple of weeks. And then they're also going to have a catalog of all the equipment, weapons and armor and accessories, so suggesting appropriate armor pass and things like that very cool stuff there and new bosses new world bosses the 8x8 storage tower is coming they say and then also a new events that are to catch up players and for returning players so those crates that we had before the um like kind of welcome back and homecoming crates that gave us tokens and coins and gave us like seven day haulers uh, those things will be coming back in some kind of form in early May, they said. So those are going to be a dramatic shift to the economy. Whatever comes out of those boxes, there's going to be a ton and ton and ton of that stuff. Because every player is going to get these boxes. They're going to be able to open them up and get these special prizes and gifts. So we'll have to see what comes out of those boxes. Those are dramatically going to shift the economy. Again, you can make, um, make accounts right now. Pretty much, uh, if you want a lot of free stuff, make accounts right now log in once get the character to level one or two or whatever it is and then you should be able to get the uh you know a better box because a returning player will get a, a good box a brand new character will get a, a box that will give them more consumable things to give exp and to level up faster like catch up weapons and then a, like a returning player someone who's played arc age and that maybe left a month ago and then came back will get probably one of the better boxes and then also an active player will get some nice things as well. So make accounts now. If you really want the best stuff, make accounts now and log in, you know, get them to level one or two or whatever, and then, you know, sit on them. And then you'll have all these free accounts. You'll have all these free boxes and stuff. It's always good to just have all these extra accounts anyway to get all this free labor. So that is it. That's a quick wrap up. You can check out the full article down below again. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, share the video, tell your friends.